What's going on, everybody? It's Wayne Side here, and I feel surprisingly fresh. No homo. Wait, let's start that again. Every what's going on, everybody? It's Wayne Side here, coming at you with an RPK challenge. This was on. Uh, this was sent to me by I Chronic on I think maybe Friday's video game paper thought last time. Uh, he said, "Hey, RPK, lightweight, uh, hardened, and hacker, have fun." Hey, thanks, asshole. I did. I had a lot of fun and a lot of frustrations trying to find out what this gun is actually good for. Drop shot! Yeah, bitch. You get owned in your ghost, bro. But, uh, yeah, let's get right on to saying that this gun was, uh, was, oh, hang on, hang on. Look at this, look at this. Look at this clutch situation over here. Coming on over here, looking at the situation, where is this guy hiding? That's what I want to know. And go on ahead and I'm going to plant this bomb away as you can see see the little angle of the truck right there I knew he couldn't see me through that window unless he jumped out which I knew he wasn't gonna do coming on over here I see him jumping and I'm like lay wait a minute wait a minute that Jeep is going to blow up if I stay there so I had to move fast and I made him think that I actually entered my own house by coming on up here and going through the garage and once see right there he, that was the biggest mistake he did is he took his eyes off of me so I could uh go ahead and, and make sure that he could not see me and right here I have both views of wherever he could come out of so I have him locked down and right there don't take the first shot when you see somebody make sure that if you got the shot you got a kill shot when you're in the clutch situation and right there ladies and gentlemen I just clutched with an RPK can I get a like for that can I get a favor for that come on come on I should have just got the like for the uh, for the drop shot I should have got a favorite for that clutch situation with an RPK but anyways let's move on to uh, some pros of this gun the pros are it's hardened so you got 80 bullets to uh, give this give whatever situation whatever like this house right here I can give this house air conditioning right now because I got hard and I can shoot through anything with this thing it's a 7.62 round I do believe uh, Russian round and look at that I can I can shoot through anything because I have hardened which makes it an even better round uh, yeah, it's got an 80 round clip, so uh, if you ever need to un like, reload in a clutch situation, uh, you need to work on your accuracy, because it's 80 rounds. So those are some pros right there. Uh, pros are, it's a really heavy bullet, probably about 3 hit markers and you're done. Uh, cons. Cons are, it takes a very long time to reload without that sleight of hand. Yeah, even though the the Harden does uh, remove your flinch, if you have Harden Pro, job, it's very hard to reload really quickly when everybody knows where you are because you don't have a silencer on this class. You can't put a silencer on an LMG. I am sorry, but Call of Duty just says no. So those are some cons right there. Uh, another con is the extreme. It, it it jumps up and down like Pamela Anderson's titties on Baywatch. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at this fucking recoil. Redunculous. I had to burst fire this thing almost like I was shooting an FAL. But there's some pros right there again that you can just lay into a house and hopefully you will get something. Anything. Get the hell out of my way, you noob. I hate randoms. That's why I always try and play with at least one other friend because, jeez. It's nuts. People just, I'd rather play with the AI sometimes. And right here I didn't get a single kill because I wasn't really involved in the action. You kind of have to stay back with the with the RPK. That's that's how you that's how it's best used as a support gun, a support class. You can't run and gun with this gun. You don't camp with it, but then again, you don't rush into the action. You kind of fire blindly into the distance and hope that whatever is in your line of fire does not see you first. But right there, I got five kills in a row. Come on, that that's pretty good for an RPK. And you'll see right here, I didn't finish first. I would have been six and, and one, or even five and one. But uh, a random had to had to mess that one up. Right here, watch, you'll see. Go out over here and revive this person. I knew it was against uh, my better judgment, but I jump on over here because I know they're all locked in this house. And look down here for a second because I see the skull and crossbone. And a random blocked me out of my cover. That is why I hate the green guys because they suck royally when it comes to paying attention to their surroundings. So right here, uh, using this gun for what it's used for, best for, again, getting most of my kills actually through the, uh, the hardwood and the houses. This was actually the best, the best map for this gun. 
It's short range. Everything is, is able to be shot at and shot through. You'll see right here as I come on down and remove the last guy from his hiding spot. And he, he does not like me. Actually, I think it's the next round. Please, I apologize for that, for mixing up those two. But I went over to my buddy I was playing with, and he gets the, the last situation. The last kill situation. So, alright, round two of the second, uh, second match of Search and Destroy. I decided to put two in here just because one was going to be way too short. And I don't know what I was doing over here. I guess I was, uh... Alright. I don't pay attention very much. I apologize. And creeping on up here, gonna get this this RPK ready to work and get this barrel hot with my 80 round clip. Looking for people, as I always do, because I don't ever like to blindly fire. And I thought there was a, an anti-spy plane coming on up. Because I heard I heard that somebody said that there was a spy plane. I don't know. That's why I hate playing with randoms. They don't know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, I get the uh, the final kill over here by showcasing what this gun is good for with Harden. So watch over here. Just just spray into the house in the general location, and you will get that kill. It is not a very skillful weapon. It is just a if you're a blunt person, this is definitely a gun for you. Harden with an RPK. You don't have to have lightweight on. I'd like scavenger, maybe marathon. But yeah, it's it's pretty good for for just blindly firing, man. It's it's a lot of fun to use and a lot of uh, displeasure at the same time because if somebody has an LMG or a uh, uh, sorry an SMG and you have an LMG at close ranges, you're gonna die. You are going to die a lot and you are gonna get very very frustrated. Well, that's enough about the gun. Uh, it's it's it was an okay setup. I, this was the only gameplay that I could play because the reloading just took so long. And without uh, scavenger, that this is as long as you could play without running out of ammo, without switching to another weapon. So this is the only gameplay that I could get with all uh, all of this weapon. So let's go on to the next topic that I want to talk about, and I don't want you guys to forget about is Thursday's questions and answers. So please comment on this video right here in your sub box that little thing down there that you all love to say hey great job in uh, or say hey you 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 really fuck this video up uh, right down there you know uh, just just point your eyeballs in the south location of this screen and type in a good question or a good topic to talk about you know if you got girlfriend troubles if you got dating troubles, if you got high school troubles, you don't know, oh, should I should I punch the shit out of this guy? I don't know. I, I really want to be a good guy to him and and not do it and not get in trouble and not put my parents through that. But this guy's a real dick. Should I should I beat him up Wayne side or should I not? So that those are good topics to talk about. They're uh, good issues. Stuff like that. Or if you just want me to talk about some random subject, I don't really give a shit. Just uh, make sure that I do get something to talk about, some sort of a subject, because trying to do this and then not having anything to talk about when the time comes is very annoying and, and kind of heartbreaking. You know, you put your time and effort into this, and not having people actually commit to to uh, following your videos or, or commenting the questions and the answers and the subjects and the material kind of puts you between a rock and a hard place on what to do because I'm kind of depending on you guys on Tuesdays and Thursdays for supplying what I need to talk about that is why it is subscribers Tuesdays and Thursdays because it's about you and not me if it was about me well then I'd probably just ramble a lot this has been Wayne Side. don't put by the wayside I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you later